So we're still working on chapter 7. We are moving on to the string section in chapter 7. Now the string data type is not part of C++. It's a programmer defined data type. That is why we need to use this header file anytime we used to use um, anytime we need to use the string data type. Um, the string data type has a variety of functions that you could use and there are different ways to do things using strings. So if you look um, in your book on page 494 in the new edition, the seventh edition, or if you have earlier editions, just look in the chapter um, which has the enumerated data types. There's a string section that talks about the string data type. Um, there, are, there are a variety of things in strings that you can use. You just have to try writing different programs with all these different functions. So I have a program here that will help you with your assignment number six, where you use strings and you search for strings and things like that. So this program here has one function that um, takes a string, notice, and it takes a string by reference. Notice the ampersand sign, it takes a string by reference. A good example of reference parameter. Um, my string, uh, my function is called string to upper, so it takes a string and converts it to uppercase, and it doesn't return anything. It's a void function because it takes title by reference, it converts it into uppercase, so when it comes back, title is already changed, it does not have to return anything. Now what are we doing in main? In main, what I have is I have a search um, function in main where I want to essentially tell the user they can search for a book name. So, which is what you will be doing in assignment number six. So in this case, I have a string called title and a string called search string. So title has a title of a book uh, hard-coded in it that's called title and um, the search string is read from the user. I tell the user to enter their search string and I read it into search string. Notice how I use get line. Remember get line is a function that is used to read in strings with spaces. So if you use cin with the extraction operator like this to read that search string, it is not going to work well. I want to read search string. If you do that, if the user enters a string, a search string with spaces, that is not going to read it. So that's not going to work well. So you do not want to use that extraction operator if um, you're wanting to read strings with spaces. So use get line um, in this format, C in, followed by the name of the variable, the string variable. And then I call my function just to keep it all even in case the user wants to convert it all to uppercase. Um, I call the string to upper of the and I pass title to it. So notice my title is this name of this book and I'm going to pass that and let's see what our function does. Our function simply takes the string by reference and it goes through a for loop and notice this um, square bracket here. It goes through a for loop and it says title of i equals to upper of title of i. So a string, all the characters essentially go from 0 to the length of the string. So for i equals 0 to i equals title dot length returns the length of the string. So I want to start at the 0th character. The square bracket is called the array subscript. Essentially our string is nothing but an array of characters. Put together and we will see more about arrays in chapter 8 but the square bracket is called the array uh, subscript operator so subscript says the index number so title of i when i starts at 0 is the first character we take that and to upper function essentially will take one character and convert it into uppercase for me so we take that zeroth character convert it into uppercase and put it back in the same position notice that way I'm actually converting that string, the original string. And since it's passed by reference, we go through this whole loop, take one character at a time, convert it into uppercase, put it back into the same string. And when the loop ends, when the length is reached, our title string that we had is now converted all into uppercase. And notice it's a void function. We don't return anything. But when we go back, since title was passed by reference, it is going to be changed 
Then we use our find function title dot find of search string will essentially return the position of that search string in our original string title if found. So if I'm looking for programming, for example, it will return the position where it finds the programming. So 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to return 4. And I'm checking to see if that is less than the length of the title. Why am I doing that? The number that it returns, if it does not find the search string, is going to be a special value, which is a very large number and which will be greater than the length of the string. If it finds the word, then it's obviously going to be within the length of the string, and so it's going to be less than that. So there are a couple of other ways in which you can do this. So look in your book in the list of functions and use the dot find function. Now there is another function called dot compare. Dot compare is used to do an exact comparison. So if I type programming to search for, and if you'd use dot compare, it's not going to find it. And to search something like this in a long string, I don't want to have to type in the whole name of the string. So it's better to just use dot find in this situation than dot compare. But try both of them, see how it works, just so you know how to use all the different functions in strings. So this says if title.find of search string, that means if it finds search string in title, which is if it's less than title.length, then you output the title. If not, it says title not found. And that is the end of our program. So it's, it's a simple program, but you will need all of this. Um, I threw the string to upper to convert it into uppercase just for us to see how it works. Now, while I'm doing that, I might also want to convert the search string to uppercase. Otherwise, we may not really find anything. So now let's build it and run it. And so let's say I search for uh, programming. And it returns the name of the book. Now let's go back in again and search for something else. So analysis, now notice it converts both to uppercase. So uppercase or lowercase, it'll find it. But what if I search for games? Then it says title not found. So there is no um, title that has the word games in it. So this could be a very useful program for assignment number six or if you just want to know about string functions.